G'day everyone. If you are anything like me when you're first starting out with DaVinci, color grading can be very daunting. Have you ever sat down to do your video editing after a day of filming and realized that your color in your filming was horrible? Well, I have, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get around that when you start your color grading journey. This video is going to take you through all the color grading basics, but I know that there are experts out there who are going to say that I didn't cover this or I didn't cover that, but this is just a basic overview to get people started when it comes to color grading. So get comfortable, put your glasses on, let's get into it. Now we've got DaVinci open, we're just going to drag a file in, it's a stock footage shot I've found on Pexels for free. And we're just going to scroll through and take a section of it. And we'll bring it down into our timeline. We're just going to hit that mute track button so we don't hear the audio when we're working with it. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go down to the color tab here. Now what we want to do is you can see that this footage is quite washed out. Blacks aren't black, the whites aren't white, it's just kind of flat. And what I find with this image also is it's lacking quite a bit of colour as well, so we're going to try and boost that while we go. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to correct the blacks because they're not quite dark enough. Things that are black in the image are sort of grey. If you look at the strap on her dress, it's kind of grey. Down here there's like a greyish area. Now the mirror here is a bit grey. And the seals of the car need to be sort of black, but they're grey. So we're going to try and bring that back. And the best way to do that is using the lift wheel over here on the left. And this is in the colour wheel section, which is this tab here. So if you're on something like this, then click on this tab right here. To understand what these wheels do, to give you an idea, lift is the darkest part of your image, gamma is the middle or the mid-range, and gain is the upper part of your image, like the lighter colours, and offset does the whole lot at once. Offset is like an overall correction. Now there's two ways to adjust, obviously you've got the centre of the wheel here which means you can just move this around any way you like and you can change the look and feel of your image but it mainly just affects the darker parts of the image. Or there is the wheel at the bottom here which gives you control as well. If you want to go back to reset to zero of course you just double click in the middle and it'll take you back to zero. Now since we're trying to make the blacks look black we're just going to grab the wheel at the bottom we're going to move it left. We're just going to left until we start seeing things looking black like they're supposed to. And you can see go a little bit further. You can see now that her dress is much blacker. The area under the car here is all black, which is really cool. And that's a pretty good start where I like to put it. Maybe a little bit more. Touch more, there we go. This is all done by eye for this tutorial, but if you want to get more in depth, there is this section over here on the right, which is the scopes section. I'm not going to go into that today because it's more in depth. This is a beginner's guide, but to give you an idea, try to keep your colors from not going over the top or under the bottom when you're correcting. Like for instance, if I move this down too much, you'll see that the colors disappear into the black and then you start getting compressed black and it looks horrible. So you want to do it by eye, but make sure that your colors stay in the upper and mid range. Don't let it go past this line and don't let them go past this line and you'll be okay. Now let's work on the whites. This is sort of a whitish color. The gauges here inside there are white. So we're gonna try and work on bringing up the whites. So the way to do that is go over to the gain wheel down the bottom here and move that to the right. Now if you look as I'm doing it, you look at the scope section over the right, we don't want that sort of, we don't want this color to peak that line. If you go too far and you look at your image, it starts to blow out the whites. If you look at the background in the back window on the right hand side here, it's, you've lost detail, it's starting to disappear. So we want to keep it somewhere in the middle. So you want to keep it just under that line so you don't lose that detail in the background and it brightens up your image. So what we've basically done is just increase contrast to make the image pop a little bit more. You could do that with the wheel here. There's a contrast dial here. You could literally just drag that left and right if you wanted to. Um, but it doesn't give you that exact control like it does the way we did it a minute ago. And because we've done that contrast adjustment, you can see the colors in the windows out here is, is more profound than they were before. Her skin tones have gotten nicer and so on. <laughs> There's about 40 ways to adjust your color in DaVinci Resolve, but the easiest way is to go to the saturation tool down the bottom here, and it says 50. As you hover your mouse over it, you can see that the two arrows pop up. You literally just left click and drag left or right depending on how you want to boost your color. So for instance, we want to boost the color, so we're going to click on it and move to the right. Now if I go extremely, you can see 
that it's too much. You can see the skin looks horrible and all that kind of stuff. And if you look at the scopes graph over on the right, you'll see that those colors are peaking as well. So if we go back to 50 where it was, and I drag it slightly to the right until I, with my eye until I'm comfortable with it. Now we've got a much warmer skin tone and the colors outside are a bit nicer. And even over here on the trim of the car, the colors come in as well. Also, if you want to make this black and white, you just drag it all the way to the left and you've got a black and white image. As long as you keep the colors within the lines pretty closely as much as you can, you won't wreck your image. It'll always look pretty nice. Um, providing it was shot right in the first place. So let's take a look at the before and after before we get into the grading aspects, because at the moment we've just been doing color correction. So we get into the edit tab, you can see a clear difference between the image on the left here and the image on the right. It looks much nicer. And those skin tones have really started to come out. And you can see that more the shadow is more defined here, colors more defined. It just the whites have popped, the dash looks much nicer, colors in the background are nicer, and the blacks are actually black. So let's go back into the color tab. So let's talk about how to grade this. If you've got this image and you're happy with this exact image how it is, that's perfectly fine. It looks great, I'm happy with it. But if you wanna make it look cooler or warmer depending on when you shot it, if it's trying to match other footage that was shot during, say, later in the day or early in the day, or if you just wanna create a mood with this kind of shot, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And the way to do that, the easiest way to do that, is to go over to your gamma wheel over here, and let's just grab the middle here, and let's just make this look like it was shot late afternoon. So we're just gonna pull it back towards the blues a little bit. Now, less is more when it comes to this, but you can see that the whites have come a bit blue, the skin tone has dropped off, it's more of a bluey feel, it's more later in the day kind of feel. I mean, you can go to an extreme if you want to and bring it all the way down and you'll see a huge difference, but we don't want to do that. So remember, if you want to reset it, you just double click, go back to the middle. This is where it was before I started doing this. But let's just say this is early morning and the sun's in her face, or this is the afternoon and you want to have that glow, and you grab it and you push it towards the reds. Just a little bit, you don't want to go too far. And now we have a much warmer shot that looks much nicer. Or, as I said, you can go back to the middle, which is double click. Actually, I quite like the warmer shot of this one. Do that again. You don't want to go too far because you don't want to make her orange, but you know, she looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, everything that's black in the image is supposed to be black. Everything that's white is the image is supposed to be white. If you look at it, the gauges on the, on the dash are white. Uh, the dash isn't actually a white dash by the looks of it, so that's not going to be completely white, but you get the idea that the blacks around her dress straps and down here are, and even in here, are all black like they're supposed to be. Let's go to the edit tab again down the bottom and have a look at the difference. Go back to roughly the same frame so you can have a look. And that is a clear difference on what we started with. All right, you're an expert in color grading now. Well, maybe not an expert, but you're on your way. But if you've come across this video and you're not sure exactly how to do basic editing and minor adjustments, check out this video here. It's a quick 20 minute course. It'll show you exactly what you need to do to get started in DaVinci Resolve. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.